the small stuff, man. It's just what up, everybody? It's your boy SGFL, man, and we are back with another video. You dig, man? I was uh, uh hit up by someone named the Crimson Reaper. All right, I was waking up in the middle of the night. I had to go to the bathroom, like us humans do sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I opened my door. Right there on the ground was a little red leaflet written in black ink, and it said, "React to these two songs, Hardcore." synth assassin sign and crimson reaper i'm like what is this i flipped the card over and it said because if you don't you're not gonna like me when we meet again i'm like oh i've been threatened <laughs> now nah, man we got the crimson reaper up next man we got two tracks called hardcore and synth assassin it was like hey i got sg i got two tracks for you. i want you to check out man you and your sgfl people listen let me know what you think. For one, I like the whole I like the whole static, man. I'm a fan of black and red. You know what I'm saying? Of course. I'm black and red. You dig? So this whole thumbnail with the lighter blade, everything. Looks fire, man. You even got the whole ninja boots. And all that hey, I rock with it. I rock with it. You know what I'm talking about? I need to be an anime. So we're gonna check these out tonight, man. Of course, make sure you guys check the link in the description, everything in there for the Crimson Reaper Man from the Instagram to the TikTok, the YouTube link, what have you. You know what I'm talking about? So, like I said, I love her new music. So let's see what the Crimson Reaper. It's talking about two tracks. First one up, hardcore. Y'all ready? Let's go. Man. Uh. Yeah. Grimms are coming with some Afro Samurai right now, man. We got we got the beat down. What we doing? What we doing? Mm. Mm. Man. Is this instrumental? But we got rapping. This is instrumental. This is instrumental. I'm about to start rapping. Uh. Hey. This is tough. I go. Oh, man. It slowed it up. It slowed it up. Y'all can't tell me yet. Boy, Afro Samurai 3 about to drop. You feel me? We're going to hit the crib. I feel like this is that uh that type uh sound you'll hear. You got two opposing ninjas, you know what I'm saying, off in that in that in them high grass. You know the camera pans down to them, goes down to one person's blade, the other person's blade. Make that eye contact, they looking for that first move, then they dart off toward each other. Usually one slash and somebody's down, but this one man, they fighting. On some, uh, on some Black Myth Wukong, all right? The Monkey King. This is tough. I ain't gonna lie. I really do like this. this is, I, I like the small ambient sounds in the background and everything, man. I really do enjoy this right here. Mmm. The small stuff, man. It's just... Man, I feel like we cooking up in that laboratory right now, don't they? Like we some, we, we the evil geniuses, man. We in Dexter's lab. Uh. Yeah. I almost start rapping. I ain't gonna lie to you. It'd have been god awful though, boy. But God, this is like you wanna say a little something. I wish I had the skill. Uh. Get this, you get this in the right hands, it's over. Mm. Crimson ain't come to play with y'all. That was hardcore from Crimson Reaper. That was tough, man. It was something, I don't know, man. Like I said, it was something about them where I kept picturing like the old style. Uh, y'all remember the first Ninja Gaiden on NES? You know what I'm saying? It's like the old cliche ninja fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they in the high grass. One ninja, another ninja, lightning's going off in the background. It's super dark. You know what I'm saying? I think even Ghost Tsushima has something like that. It's super dark. It's nighttime. And they both peering down each other's weapon. They have that ultimate standoff. Then, you know, just like that. They going at each other, running across like 500 yards in like a couple seconds just to make that one slash. That's the type of music I feel would be in the background for this, man. All that, all that switch-ups, man, up tempo changes, everything like that, that beat, that drum hitting, that was tough. 
Uh, so like I said, if I could rap, y'all already got some bars out of me, man. But I wouldn't have did that dr a a a instrumental justice, man. So I didn't even want to just taint it with my terrible rhyming skills. All right, you know what I mean? I was going to Dr. Seuss at mother. <laughs> you feel me? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. It probably would have worked, though. I ain't going to lie. If I spent it right, hey, hey. But next up, man, right after Hardcore, we got Synth Assassin, man. So let's see what else the Reaper has to bring. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Ooh. I feel just off the quick hair right now. I feel like after I was talking about on that Hardcore, there's fighting them two ninjas. One ninja's dead. And the other stand over top of him like, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> I won. I brought honor to my family name. Yeah. Yeah. And they walking away. Got their little bag off until, you know, going back to their village. Man, I got stories. Let's see how you boy. I guess we some dope, dope ad like video game music the good stage for like the street rage street race 2 where i started on one street race 4 the new one uh-oh i feel like uh here come a new challenger this is the theme music to the third ninja just popped up he's like wait a minute Check out my brother. We got unfinished business. Jumps down off his rock. He ain't got a sword though. He got that. Uh, he got a cleaver. What a, a cleaver. <laughs> he got a agave, galave. He about to win too, cause the old boy he tired, but he ain't gonna give up. He ain't drop his bags. Like it is what it is. He's ready. He thought he got that sword, how they barely even that much. <laughs> and it's out, he's ready. Boy, if I could animate some mother, boy, I tell you, boy, I would animate every song I heard to a story. That sounds like we like I said we in some like industrial part right now. It's like the small stuff I heard in the beat, man, which is great. I love switches, man. This Should I get the story going? That little switch up right there was, he beat the brother too. <laughs> he a monster. The whole thing, get the sword. See what I'm saying? I watch a lot of movies. There's so many switches in here. It's amazing. That was the Crimson Reaper with Hardcore and Synth Assassin. Two fire instrumentals, man. Two super dope instrumentals. Like, I don't know why. I, the whole time I was pitching that, I was just pitching like two ninjas fighting. Two ninjas fighting in the old classic black and white ways that we've seen time and time again throughout all of our lifetime, man. If you stay up until like the martial arts ninja, like, uh, samurai type culture movie game aesthetic entertainment you know what i'm saying that was just like the beat switches in there the tempo changes how every time like uh, a new a new structure in the actual beat came in and it gave you a whole different premise a whole different speed sound to it the instruments popped in it all meshed perfectly man like you always say y'all can go back and do all my videos man especially when i do instrumentals uh reactions 
when you get a beat, when you make a beat and a person immediately can picture a story, a situation, an outcome, a movie, a scene in their head, just off the beat itself, that is talent. Because just by hearing instruments and hearing sounds, you're picturing a whole ordeal in your head. And you can see it. And it's just like off the background. The music is actually painting the picture for your imagination. And a lot of times, a lot of music doesn't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So when you actually can make a beat that has not a lyric, that has no story premise to it whatsoever, just the simple instruments put into a certain sequence in the order into a beat. And then in your head, your imagination kicks in and pictures an entire scenario, no matter what it is. It can be completely left field out of the blue orient in the moon and you can picture that and see it in your head and you try to like translate that to others like i was trying to do by talking about the two ninjas fighting what i was hearing with this kind of music i saw that and as a super super dope talent to have so you're not just like one or not the other you just forget about it painting pictures with your music is hands down one of the best ways to always be infamous all right for people to always know who you are when you can like tell uh string along somebody on nostalgia on like reminiscing on something or you just point them to a certain part of their life just by off your music man talent crimson reaper with the dope tracks hardcore and synthesis i really don't even know which one i would choose to be my favorite out the two man synthesis was dope just because i feel like the 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 spin on it when i brought like this the third ninja dance the dude's brother and how many switched it came how many times it switched and i got that idea like man it sounds like something that i would hear in one of my favorite games which is street race series from when i was a kid on sega up to the new ones on PS5, and it made the, the music, the iconic soundtrack from Street Race 2 would always be stuck in my head. It saved into a play. I have a whole video game music playlist on Spotify. The whole soundtrack for Street Race 2 is on there. So when Street Race 4 came out, and it was newer, and it had more modern sounds and music on it was fantastic, I felt like this would have fit perfectly in that game, especially like an industrial section or anything like that. Yeah, I think for like the second and third time the beat actually changed, and it felt like we was in a whole different realm. That is dope, man. I ain't gonna lie. I salute Crimson Reaper once again. All the information for them will be in the description below. Make sure you slide over to the YouTube. Check out the rest of the music. I think they got a couple more tracks in there as well, too, that you'll be uh, hard-pressed to think that they ain't gonna be bangers. All right, because I got a feeling they will be, especially if they're taking us on journeys like that with our minds and our imaginations. Keep doing your thing. From me to you until next time, and it will be soon. It's your boy, SGFL. I'm out.